Hello, it's Scott Manley here. Now, this is a bit of a break from what I've been doing. I'm not doing another reusable space program. It is in progress, but today was really rather tragic in YouTube land. I had three different people send me video responses containing uh, tutorials on how to get into orbit. And I'm not going to name names, but honestly, all three of them were crap. You are all disgraces to the Space Corps and you should be ashamed of yourself. Now, the reason is, what I'm seeing is a lot of people like to go straight up and then go straight up a bit more and then go straight up as far as they can and then turn right and go as fast as they can. Now, you've just seen me do a an ascent and I had 624 units of fuel remaining. I'm going to do an experiment. I am going to set up mechanical jab, setting different turn altitudes for the gravity turn to see how much fuel is left after the turns from varying altitudes. And what you're going to see is that if you go straight up, 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 you end up wasting fuel. And that is not ideal, as, we, as you find out, especially if you're coming in to land on the moon and you run out of fuel. Now, I've set the gravity turn to be the default 10 kilometers here. Uh, Mechanical Jeb does not follow a textbook gravity turn. What it does is it sets like a spline curve using three control points. You have a start and end and uh, you have a percentage, which uh, apparently corresponds to some kind of midpoint. And using those three parameters, you can adjust your uh, ascent path and ultimately it'll follow it and there's a bit more intelligence there where uh, but ultimately it gets to orbit in this case it has 612 units of fuel remaining now what happens if i lift that up to 15 kilometers we're basically going to follow the same ascent path we're keeping the other parameters fixed and instead we're going to turn at a higher altitude and that means we're going to go up another five kilometers before we even start turning over now, what's important to watch is the nav ball. See, the nav ball, as you, you can see here, we are not firing exactly along the velocity vector. And if you look on the top left, there's a window that says ascent stats. And this tells you how good you're doing. And it says gravity losses and then drag losses. Drag losses are uh, from the air. And then there's steering losses. Steering losses are the one that I'm referring to here. That is when you're firing your rocket and you're not exactly lined up with your velocity vector, that is a steering loss. And you need this for course correction, so you can't get away without doing it, but an, a perfect ascent would have zero there. Yeah, so 589, that's less fuel still than uh, my, you know, my manual attempt, obviously. Now, if we raise it up to 20, and I saw one person saying, don't start turning until you're at 20, and I face palmed terribly, so we're just going to follow Mechanical Jeb again, all other things being equal. We're only changing the altitude at which the turn starts. So this thing is going to turn up, go up, and it's going to turn much harder because it's going faster once it reaches that 20 kilometers. And there you go. See the steering losses? They mount up very, very quickly. See, we're already over 100 meters per second velocity wasted due to steering losses. 146 there. So it's almost 150 meters per second. Uh, you know, that's 15 seconds at 1G acceleration, if you think about it. Now we get up to altitude and we are going at less than one kilometer per second. Another way to tell that your ascent trajectory is suboptimal is to take a look at the velocity you have when you hit apoaps at 100 kilometers in this case. 533, that was terrible. That was really awful. You know, if your lateral velocity is 1500 meters per second or better, you're doing okay. If you're below a kilometer per second, you should go back to flight school. So yeah, here's another one. Don't go too low. Don't turn too early. This is one where we set the turn to be five kilometers. Um, and you can see instead of turning more than the velocity vector, we're actually more vertical than the velocity vector. So we're, we're still getting steering losses, but it's not nearly as bad actually in this case. Uh, what is a bigger problem is that you're 
moving sideways and your drag losses are going to end up higher. So uh, in this case, you're probably not going to do quite as good either. Uh, well, I know you're not going to do as quite as good because I've made all these videos beforehand. Uh, if you spend too, if you turn over too early, you're going to burn through the atmosphere and waste a lot more energy that way. Finding the exact ascent trajectory is a science, and it depends on the rockets in question. If your thrust to weight ratio is too low, these ascent paths may not work for you. 607. There you go. So yeah, for any reasonably high thrust to mass ratio rocket, start turning at 10, don't take too long to turn over, uh, or you'll waste fuel. It's not a huge amount of fuel, but it might matter if you're going for some challenge. Uh, but yeah, just, you know, learn this stuff, practice it, and uh, see you around. I'm Scott Manley, fly safe.